Hey, we are officially live. We are officially live. If you can see me and you can hear me, go ahead and drop the number one for me real quick. If you guys can see me and you can hear me, go ahead and drop the number one real quick. And I'm super excited to go ahead and get going, man. We have a lot of things we got to cover today. As you guys know, I will be reviewing your guys' stores today. So I will be showing you some of my old brands that I've had that have generated lots of money. Um, I'll be looking through your guys' stores and really just helping you guys out with any questions that you guys may be having. So I hope you guys are ready for it. I hope you guys are excited for it. And like I said, go ahead and drop the number one if you can see me and you can hear me. All righty, I see Abby in the house, Tarzan. I see Harry B, Shaw, Krista. I love to see that. I love to see that. Let me drop this down below. I have a quick question for you guys. Everybody in here, I want to make sure I know where everyone is coming from, where you guys are taking advantage of. So down below in the chat section, as you guys know, this is going to be very interactive. I have myself and my team here in this chat. It, my team's name is Supreme Ecom. So if you guys have questions, you guys can be asking questions throughout this live Q&A. My team will answer the questions for you. I will also be asking and answering you guys' questions, reviewing your guys' stores, showing exactly how a good store should be laid out, and so much more. But I want to hear where you guys are from. That's how I want to start off today. I see Czech, I see Ohio, I see Pakistan. What up, chat? Chat, I'm excited to have you guys in here. Somalia, Pakistan, Florida, Tampa, Egypt. All right? If you guys want to post a link to your store, you guys can post them down below. I would not put the .com because it usually will not post. Put a dash and then put the name of the product that you, uh, the product page that you want me to check out because the product page is going to be the main thing that's going to drive the success for you. So that's going to be the main thing I'm going to be looking at. But again, I'm not going to do that for about 20 minutes, okay? 20 to 30 minutes, I'm not even going to do that because the first thing I want to do is show and teach you what a winning store will look like, all right? So now that you, I know a little bit, I see Pakistan, chat, uh, what's good, y'all? What's good? I hope you guys are having a good day. Let me know even though uh, one thing you guys are trying to learn today. What is something that you're struggling with when it comes to store design chat? And I'm excited to go ahead and go crazy today. I have one more question chat down below. I'm gonna send it over to you guys. Rating your experience level, okay? I wanna hear if you're a beginner, you're intermediate, or you're advanced. But in the meantime, I see Yemen in the house, India, I see um, Serbia, I see Brooklyn, Italy, LA, Jordan, I see Gabon, Georgia, Pakistan, Arizona. If you guys do not know, I'm out here in Dallas, Texas. My team is all behind this wall right here. We are also all in Dallas, Texas, and uh, we're excited to go ahead and go crazy today. If this is your first time ever on a live Q&A with me, also go ahead and drop the number one for me, all right? I ask this because I want to give you guys an understanding of what today is going to look like. So today, I'm going to be guiding you and giving you a full breakdown of the main topic that we're talking about, which is product page review. So I'm going to be showing you one of my stores. I'm going to be showing you how I lay out my product pages. I'm going to be showing you how the apps work and what apps you need on your store. I'm also going to give out a giveaway today. And this giveaway is going to give you the opportunity of winning a free one-on-one -on -one consulting call with myself and my team to cover any questions that you may be having and get an inside look of my one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Secondly, you're going to be able to get uh, um, some free Supreme Ecom merch. You see the Wi-Fi Bread collection. And then lastly, you're going to get a 2023 success plan that is completely tailored for you so that by the time that you get off of this call, you're going to already know exactly what steps to be taking. Now, if the agenda today and everything I just covered is fine with you guys, you guys are excited for it, say I'm ready, AC. Alrighty, and I did post a link down below uh, for you guys to apply for my one-on-one -on -one coaching. By the way, just so you guys know, we have about five spots left this month. So if you guys want to get on a free discovery call with myself and my team, understand the problems you have and be able to diagnose it and give a success plan and get you the help that you deserve to make an extra five to $10,000 a month, I dropped this link down below to give you guys the opportunity to apply. And like I said, get on a free discovery call with myself and my team. But before we join it, I need to highlight the student of the week. I always highlight the student of the week every single week on my live Q&A from the people who are inside my Supreme family and people I work directly with, all right? Every week, depending on what package that you go ahead and get, I give different giveaways out for being the student of the week and, and we're gonna go ahead and highlight the student of the week now.
By the way, look at all this. This is literally from July 16th. Look at these students going crazy, man. 14K in seven days. $35,000 starting from scratch only in 17 days. I mean, we are going crazy over here. All right? But the first thing I want to do is highlight the student of the week. I want you guys to say congratulations to him. The student of the week this week is... Let me go ahead and get to it. Let me go ahead and get to it. We're popping off. Everyone's going crazy right now. Where's my boy at? Where's my boy at? Right here, Hamlet. Hamlet, congratulations on getting this, all right? I want to say congratulations, Hamlet. By the way, I have a free Discord server. I have my team posting it down below. If you even want to just join a community where you can ask questions, learn to be around other like-minded individuals, I have a free Discord community I just dropped down below, so make sure you take advantage of it. But Hamlet, you are the student of the week. He came to me two weeks ago, no experience, complete beginner, and now has generated $700 in a single day. I want to say congratulations, Hamlet. And you see my boy got a 2% conversion rate. So congratulations, Hamlet. And you are on the live Q&A, so make sure to reach out to me, all right? Now let's go ahead and get into how we build our stores out. So when we are building our stores, there's multiple different stores that we can run, all right? Now one of the stores that we can run is a general store, all right? A general store is going to be something where you guys can be able to test a lot more efficiently and be able to build different product pages quickly. All right, there's basically three types of stores that you can start. All right, and if you have your notebook out, you're taking notes, drop the number one because if you are taking notes, I also have something special for you at the end. But I got to see the notes. All right, I got to see the notes. So make sure you're taking advantage of that. All right, three types of stores that you guys can start. All right, first store type and the most recommended is a general store. All right. Now, when I show you guys some of my stores today, even when I show you guys some of the stores that literally I just started rocking with, like I'll show you guys something real quick. I just started rocking and rolling with this store maybe like, what, 15 days ago? I started it on the second. And I mean, you guys can see what we doing. I started this store literally July 2nd, first day advertising, and already had around $6,000 in sales. This is a general store of mine, and I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how I do this and how I'm getting the conversions that I'm in that I have. Now, like I said, first store type and the most recommended is a general store. Now, what a general store is gonna allow you to do is be able to test out a lot more um, efficiently. All right, so a lot more efficiently. Oh, give me two seconds. I'm pulling everything up on my side. And by the way, I'll be reviewing your guys' store. So if this video gets to 250 likes today, if the video gets to 250 likes, not am I just going to be able to post this on my channel afterwards, but also I'm going to give a second giveaway winner. So not just one, but two. So smash that like button down below and show your boy some love, all right? So general store, like I said, all right? This is something that you can test more efficiently okay and able to build different product pages quickly all right so you know i see nong saying hey ac i'm a complete beginner i love to hear that because i'm gonna show you guys even if you are a complete beginner even just like all these people people being complete beginners how you guys can do the same exact thing all right so test more efficiently and being able to build different products but more importantly Being able to stay up to date on every single trend happening. So with your general store, okay, your general store needs to be highlighting the seasons and trends that are happening. Like Target, where they're already talking about back to school and prepping for college and the end of summer sales and all of these things that you currently see. So if these people are highlighting these seasons and trends, you guys need to be doing the exact same thing. And you guys can see that's what I'm highlighting on all of my stores, okay, is what seasons and trends that are currently happening. So what is the first thing you need to do when you are opening up a general store? Mimic the main season and trend. So to be able to find this, all right, you guys are going to be using Google Trends. And this is what you should be basing majority of your homepage and your store around, even the sales that you're having. 
So if you come over here to Google Trends, right, the main trends that you should be focusing on your store right now, okay, is an end of summer sale. That's going to be one, okay? Another one is going to be back to school. As you can already see, other people are already putting out. You can see back to school is already on an upward trend right here. So that gives us a very good indication that this is something we want to focus on. All right. Other f seasons and trends we want to focus on is like fall. We know fall is going to be slowly on the upward trend right now. These are the things that you guys need to be focusing on. So that's for step number one with your general store. Now, like I said, there's two other stores that you guys can start. Now, you can do a one product store, which I don't necessarily necessarily recommend doing um, unless you've already scaled a product on your general store and then you go create a brand around it, right? For example, here's one of my brands right here. Basically, what happened was I found out that this product worked well on a general store. I then took this one product. I scaled it to 100000 on the general store. I then moved this over to a branded one product or niche focused store, which you guys can see uh, I'm doing right here. All right. That's what it's looking like to create a brand, a one product or a niche focused store, which brings me to my next point. Your third option is a niche focused store. Now, like I said, the things that are great about this is, yes, you might have a little bit of a higher conversion rate, but you're going to struggle if a product does not work for you. So I want to hear from you guys right now. If you want to go and do all this effort, build a one product store, and the product does not work for you, what do you think you're gonna have to do next? I wanna hear from you guys right now. What do you guys think you're gonna have to be doing next? Let me know in the chat section. Because this is why I focus on a general store. Is only building product pages and just changing my store around for whatever season and trend that's happening. So Mafia, Abby, you know, Nong, Adele, if you guys are with me, you guys understand what I'm saying, drop the number one. Because like I said, once I start reviewing your guys' stores in about 10 minutes, I want to ensure that you guys are understanding exactly what we're talking about. Okay? Exactly what we're talking about. And by the way, if you guys want to, like I said, we have a free Discord channel. This is the Discord channel. If you guys want to check it out, I already have my team posted down below, Abby. All right? So start over if the product didn't work, right? Queen White saying start over. So my next question to you guys is what, am, what is more important, time or money? Let me know. What is more important, time or money? Because for me, I can't get the time back. So if I go and spend days and days and days researching a product, making creatives, building a store around it, and I then spend money on the ads and nothing works for me, then now I have to completely start over. All right? So this is what you need to be doing. Now, with a general store, let's go ahead and break it down, okay? With a general store, you have your homepage versus your product page, okay? Homepage versus your product page. So let's go ahead and get into both. Now, this right here is the definition of a homepage. Now, with this homepage, the main thing you're going to be doing is, like I said, basically highlighting whatever season and trend that's happening. That's the main thing you want to put in the announcement bar of your store. Does that make sense? One for yes, two for no. Now, another thing that I'm doing on my store is only focusing on three colors max. Okay, black, white, and one separate color. This is what my main focus is. Why do you guys believe that this is important? I want to hear from you guys. Hey, Darab been listening. Darab been listening. I was going to get to that. I was going to get to that, but I'll even say it right now. I run a general store with niche-focused product pages. Says AC, you sound. <laughs> I'm dying, man. I'm dying. I'm not sick though. I'm not sick. I literally lost my voice last night. I was like sleeping with the fan on. Y'all know how that is, all right? So white, black, and one separate color. That's exactly what I'm focusing on throughout my entire store. And again, I have a general store with niche focused product pages. So with, this is considered my homepage right here, all right? So your homepage, 
I want you guys to write this down right now. So with your homepage, only 5% of your traffic will actually go here. Now, the reason why is because the other 95% of your traffic is either going to go to the landing page of the product that you're selling or, and they buy or they don't buy. It's just simply that. And only 5% of those people are going to go look around on your store. All right. So, like I said, three colors max, black, white, one separate color. First thing I'm doing is highlighting the season and trend that's happening and giving a deal that goes with the season and trend. Then, next thing I do is I come down to this uh, right here. And now this is going to be my first piece of text as well as an image that goes with the text that I'm showing. So, for example, can I see your general store, Tarzan? This is one of my general stores right here. I'm showing it to you. Okay? So... This is where you guys can be highlighting the season again, the trend and season that's happening, and then having an image that goes with it. Now, if you guys do not know about where to get images for your stores, let me help you guys out right now. We already know back to school is ha happening right now. This is called Pixels. Okay, I want you guys to write this down. This is where I get all my non-copyrighted material on my website. It's called Pixels.com. So if back to school is happening right now, then I would make sure that this might be something I have on my store instead of it going to summertime. Does that make sense? One for yes, two for no. Okay. All of these are free images. Okay. Now, that's basically what I'm adding and finding out with these pictures right here. Now, the next thing I come down to is my mission statement. Okay. The next thing I come down to is going to be your mission statement if you guys do not know how to build your mission statement very simple come over here to chat gpt say i run a drop shipping general store and i want a high quality mission statement that is only about four sentences long i sell general products have great customer service and always focus on quality. Give me a mission statement, right? And now you guys can see it's going to give it to you right now. Our mission is this, provide you guys with this. That's how I make my mission statements. I don't overthink this. I don't try to make it more difficult. So this is what I recommend you guys doing. If you guys use ChatGPT for your business right now, drop a number one. If you don't, drop a number two. Because I want to tell you guys I do this a lot. All right? I do this like with my mission statement. I do this with this text that goes right here. I do it with the sales, you know, the sales that I have on my store. This is what I'm focusing on. Even I help it build out my product pages. All right. Mafia is saying <laughs> you're very fast. Are you talking to me? Or are you talking to Jarav? Because Jarav is taking notes. Jarav is implementing. All right. Jarav is taking action. So I want you guys to be able to do the same thing. All right. You are not here to reinvent the wheel. That's 100% right. Now, with my stores and my product pages, I always focus on a 3% rule. If you guys have ever heard about the 3% rule from Virgil, uh, Virgil Abloh, let me know in the chat section real quick. You can say yes or you can say no. Um, it's very simple. The main thing behind the 3% rule is that you are not reinventing the wheel. Only changing 3%. So say somebody is selling this, um, say somebody's selling this sand free beach mat and everyone is showing people only at the beach with it. Maybe I'll show it at the beach, the pool, maybe an oasis, maybe a lake. Maybe I'll show younger people because the ads out there only show older people. This is that 3% rule. All right. So now after I have my mission statement, I come down to my main featured product. So right after the mission statement, main featured product. Now this is very important. Now, I want you guys to understand this because ultimately, yes, 95% of your traffic is going to come to the landing page of the product that you're selling. But that 
if they come back to the homepage and they cannot come find the rant, the product that they already found and looked at, they're also going to leave. So that's why I always, always, always recommend having whatever main feature product that you're currently advertising, you will then in turn also have it on your product page. All right. Next thing is I'm going to come down to the collections. So I have my main feature product and then collection of products. Now with the collection of products, these need to be complementary cross-selling items, meaning that they go with the main product that you're selling, okay? All these products make sense to be sold in the summertime, and that's why I always put it right here. Then I come down to these reviews. This is something that you can either write yourself or even get reviews and just put it on here. And lastly, an email collector. Now, this is how I structure my homepage. And if that makes a little bit of sense on how I structure my product, my homepage, I want you guys to drop the number one. Because I'm going to go ahead and before I show you guys how I do my product pages and before I even review all of your stores, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the first understanding of how to win this giveaway today. And like I said, if you guys smash the like button down below, show your boy some love. I will also give a second giveaway winner today if you do not win the first time. And I will also post this on my channel after this so you guys can watch it again. So here is the giveaway instructions. Let me go ahead and post it down below for you guys. And again, I want to show you some of the apps that I use down below. But like I said, guys, this is what this is going to get you guys opportunity of winning. First thing is get an inside look at my one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Being able to get on a one-on-one -on -one call with myself and my team. Look over your ads, look over your products, look over your homepage, and really guide you and answer any questions that you have. Secondly, is being able to get some free Supreme Ecom merch. And thirdly, is a 2023 success plan that is tailored around you. So by the time you get off the call, you already know exactly what you should be doing. So how to be able to achieve this and how to win this giveaway, and I'm going to announce the winner in about 20 minutes, all right, is with this down below. So... I'm going to go ahead and I just posted the link down below, but I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the instructions and show you guys live. So again, what you need to do is you need to come to my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton. This is my only Instagram. Okay. Do not have any other ones. If there's any other people trying to follow you, it is not my account. If it does not have a blue check, it is also not me. Okay. I want you guys to scroll down and I want you guys to come to this video right here. And I want you to comment the word Wi-Fi bread. And then come back in here and say the word done. So again, come to my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton. Come to this video. Comment the word Wi-Fi bread. And come back in here and say the word done. And how I'm going to be choosing the winner is as simple as this. Wherever my finger stops. All right. So I hope you guys take advantage of it. I'll be choosing the winner here shortly. Now, we know about the home page. Now, the next thing we need to focus on is the product page. So with the product page, let's go ahead and get into how the layout of this is. So with my, with my product page, there's a couple main things that are not negotiable, meaning you need to do this no matter what. Okay? And I'm going to give it all to you right now so there's literally no confusion at all. First thing is I name my product, okay? First thing is I always name my product. Why do I name my product? To give myself a customizable feel and allow myself to stand out from my competitors. Yeah, maybe everybody else is selling a sand-free beach mat, but I have a Mr. Beach sand-free beach mat, so it's allowing me to stand out. Step one, always name your product. Step two, Always have a selling price and a compare price. Do not have a sell on your store saying this if you're not willing to give a sell. Okay? Step three is every variant that you have needs to take you directly to the actual image of the product. So if I click on orange, it takes me to orange. If it takes go to olive green, it takes me to olive green. Now, one thing I really like is when I do choose variants and when you are clicking on variants of products, it is very great to have a white background behind it. A white background, it allows you to look way more professional. and just really allows you to stand out. Okay? 
Like I said, smash that like button if you guys are enjoying this. I want to make sure you guys are showing the boy some love. Okay? Next thing, how I start every single product page is by highlighting the main problem that people have, immediately giving the solution, and then showcasing this off with a GIF or image so that people can see how it actually works. So I want you guys to reiterate it to me right now in the chat section. How do I build my product pages? How should you be building your product descriptions? Let me know right now. Again, highlight the problem. Give the solution with your product. And then showcase the uh, solution with either a GIF or image. Next thing you'll do is you will scroll down and you will highlight the first feature and benefit. Explain the fe first feature and benefit with the solution. Give a GIF or image that highlights that. Again, same thing all day long, all the way down, okay? Now the reason why we do this is because there's gonna be two types of people who come to your store. I want you guys to write this down as well. There are two types of people who will visit your store, okay? One is going to be One is gonna be a reading buyer and second is a visual buyer. Let me know in the chat section right now which one you guys are. So Lavender, Durav, Mafia, Adele, you know, Perky. Let me know what you guys what you guys are. You know, what you guys struggle with. Do you work on Fiverr? No, I do not. But if you are needing a web design or you needing any type of help building out your store, we do have options for that. I'll even drop that down below for you guys. Okay, but look, there's two types of buyers. Me personally, I'm a visual buyer. I come in, I see a product that I like, I see the images, I see the gifts, I don't even really read anything. I just see, okay, does this do what I, you know, what I think it should do? Where other people might come in and read every single word and really nitpick on everything that you're saying because they wanna be confident in what you're selling. And then other people, like Jin Jin and Hasigo and Abby are both, where you wanna see both of the things, right? So that means that you need to be making sure that you are compelling your product description with the types of buyers that are coming to your store, all right? Now, I'm gonna give you guys about 10 more minutes to take notes and whoever is taking the most notes, I'm gonna review your guys' stores after this first, okay? Because I wanna make sure you guys are paying attention. Now that you have your product page built out, it's very important that you understand the apps that you need to have on your store, okay? So some apps that I recommend on my store, the main one that you guys are gonna need to have, which is just gonna even save you more money, is going to be Vitals. Vitals is one of the main apps that I recommend starting off with right out the gate, okay? Let me go ahead and open this up. Now, Vitals is typically $29.99 a month. I am going to go ahead and post a link down below to give you guys a opportunity of getting started with a cheaper discount. It's going to give you guys about 30% off your first month, or sorry, 10% off your first month. I'm going to go ahead and post that down below so you guys can get started with them, all right? Now, Vitals is great because, like I said, it's going to have all the apps that you guys have in one. Now, what is the main reason? There's two main reasons I use Vitals. Okay. First, it's cost efficient. So instead of me going out there and buying a bunch of different apps and doing all of these different things and paying all these subscriptions, I can really just have a one and done type of app. The second main reason, store speed. Now, store speed is going to make or break your business. If people go and see your ad, come to your store, and it doesn't load up right away, again, they will leave. Where you guys can see when you guys go to my stores, you know, it's loading in less than one second. This is the reason why, is because again, I'm using stuff like Vitals. Now, on Vitals, there's a couple apps that I recommend you having, okay? So, the ones that I have on my store is going to be the product reviews, the upsell builder, visitor replays, currency converters, cart reserve timers, and high dynamic checkout buttons. These are the main ones that I am focusing on. 
Now, inside the upsell builder, there's basically two types of apps that I have inside that. One is going to be frequently bought together. And another one is going to be quantity discount. So the only thing that's different between those is quantity discount is saying, if you come to my store and you want to buy something, but you buy two things, I'm going to give you a discount. If you buy three things, I'm going to give you a higher discount. Four things, an even higher discount. Where frequently bought together is cross-selling cross-related items. Okay? So these are the main things that I have on my store. These are the main things I recommend. Product reviews are going to be really, really important. Okay? No one's going to want to come to your store if you don't have reviews. Where product reviews, you can literally customize and write down every review you want and make it look the same way that you want it to be. Now, the next thing is going to be visitor replays. Now, this is really great because if you guys want to complain to me or even for yourself and you say, when are you going to review our stores? I'm going to review your guys' stores in about five minutes. So I hope you're ready. But I'm giving you all this information. Do you know? Do Why do you guys believe that I give the information first before I go review your guys' store second? Because knowledge is power. If I don't give you the foundation and just start reviewing stores, then it's just going to be information without really understanding what the information actually does. So visitor replays is great because you can actually see the live actions of people on your store and what they are doing. Currency converter is something you have to have on your store. Now, we advertise to what? What are the top five countries we advertise to? Let me know right now in the chat section because if you guys have been paying attention, you guys will know. What are the top five countries that we advertise towards? Let me know because once you do know, I'm going to ask you guys a question to Rob, Perky, and Adele and even Abby, Mafia. If you were to go to a store and you live in the United States and let's say it's in pounds, are you going to do a currency converter yourself? Are you going to take a calculator out and figure out what is going to be in your currency? One for yes or two for no. Because yes, the top five countries are United States, United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, and New Zealand. So when you're advertising to these countries, if you don't have a currency converter, these people are just going to leave. I like the cart reserve timer. This is really good to increase my conversions on the back end when I add a cart page. And then this also helps out right here. Okay? These are the things I need you guys to start focusing on. And when you understand this and you have this implemented on your store, it can go a long way. Now, like I said, there's other things on this store. And you guys can see, there's if you want to build trust, you guys can see all the things that build trust. If you want to boost revenue, you can see all the apps that help out with that. Even if it's just improving experience, you can see all over here. Increasing conversions, reducing abandonment, capturing leads, engaging customers. The list goes on and on and on and on. All right. So now that we have all the apps, now that you see how I build out my stores, now that you see how my product pages are, now that you see how my home pages are, let's go ahead and start reviewing some of your guys' stores. So if you guys want me to review some of your guys' stores, let me know in the chat section. But I just want to give you guys something real quick before I do that, okay? As again, 3% rule, okay? The 3% rule. If you guys don't know what to have as your product, for if you're a complete beginner and you do not know what your product description should look like, I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Say this is my competitor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy every single word that they have on their product page. Again, I'm going to come over here to ChatGPT. This is my competitor's store. And they are highlighting the following. make this sound better okay and again this is how i build my product pages out is is whatever my competitor says on their product description i'm gonna steal all of it put it in chat gpt and put it in my own words and just do it better than them just a little bit okay where now i just i mean this actually sounds better than mine but love the beach but can't stand the stand sand sticking to your body adore the beach but you know Loath the lingering sand on your body. Experience our revolutionary sand-free beach mat. 
you guys see what I'm saying. That's why I do. And then I'll go to the next point. And I'll go to the next point. And the next point. And the next point. And then the one thing that I'm doing as a 3% rule is saying, okay, thanks, chat GPT. <laughs> what I'm basically going to say is, now give me some angles to target with this product. And once they give me these angles and I look at my competitor and the competitor does not use these angles, then I know my 3%. Then I know where to be different. I mean, fitness and yoga practitioners, you know, you know, people do like sand yoga all the time. People do, um, what are the, the, sand volleyball all the time. All these things that involve things outside, didn't even think about it, right? This is how I can become different. This is travel enthusiasts, right? This will go crazy. This is how I allow myself to be different. Let's review some of your guys' stores. And yes, Michelle, you literally, once you go to the website for my one-on-one -on -one mentorship, once you come down here to book your discovery call, it's absolutely free. Okay, you'll get on a call with myself and my team. We'll be able to diagnose the problems that you have and be able to see if you're a good fit for the limited spots that we have. So this is where you can apply. All right. Let me see. Let me see. What stores? Drop your store links. All right. Here we go. We got the first one of the day, man. We got the first one of the day. Let's go ahead and jump into it. I think it's this right here. Dot com. All right, that is not working. I'm going to go to a different store real quick. We're going to go to Pet Planet World. This is Miss Abby. Abby, before I do this, fair warning to each and every one of you. I will be coming at your head. I will. I'm doing that. And I'm not doing it out of trying to hurt you. I'm not going to do it trying to make you feel less, you know, great about the efforts that you put in. I'm doing this because I truthfully care. So, Abby, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be on your head a little bit, but it's all love. All right? Let's go ahead and get into it. Pest supplies. I think it was, let's see, the pest supplies. Let me see. Let me see if there's actually your product. All right. I don't know which one it actually is. So I'm just going to go uh, into this product right here because it's the main one on your store. All righty, Miss Abby, a couple little things. First thing you want to do every single time is you want to come over here and click on inspect. Right click, come over here to inspect. And you want to start on look at your mobile version. Okay, anytime I'm going to review any of your guys' stores, I'm going to look at the mobile version because over 80% of your traffic comes to the mobile. All right, quick little thing. One is this needs to be one line. It cannot be two lines. You're just wasting space. So make this a lot shorter. I honestly, I really don't put coupon codes on my store at all. I can do it if it's like somebody signs up to their email or something like that. But I would just take this off. You can just say free shipping on $50 or more, summer sale or something like that. All right. Next thing is as I'm going through your images, the images are not bad. But honestly, they should be taking up a little bit more space. Okay. I would name the product. Okay, next thing is I'm gonna have a selling price and a compare price. You have like a good deal going on right now, but no one's gonna see the deal with what's going on. Now, let me see. Typically, I would start off with the lower variant. So I know that you're, you wanna get more money, you wanna start with the XL, but I would typically go medium, large, and XL. So you can start off with the lowest price first. By the way, do not spam down below, okay? If you spam, you want me to review your store, you keep posting and posting and posting, I'm not gonna be able to eventually get to that. So I'm gonna get every single store, every person, I'm gonna go down the list one by one. And um, yeah, if you spam, it's, I'm just gonna basically skip over you. So show everybody love, man. We all wanna have a fair opportunity. I click on chocolate, it's not taking me to chocolate. I click on white, it's taking me to brown. So again, this would throw me off, Abby, because if I'm clicking on one of your variants and it's taking me to the wrong variant, 
from going to think that you are you really are not you're not professional in basically what you're doing. Okay? Now, next thing as we come down is like I said, I like having I like seeing the sticky added card button. This is also something that you guys can get with vitals. So, Francis, I'm not sick. My voice is just out. All right. Next thing I like, I like having some things increase my AOV. You don't have any type of quantity discount here. Next thing is font sizes are really important. So whatever the main thing is I'm trying to highlight, I have a bigger font, and then I come down to a text paragraph, and I bold the main things that need to be bolded. Lime, honey, and hot water might help. I'm going to take advantage of that. All right, I'm going to take advantage of that. Now, yours is all one text size. This feels like I'm reading a book. Nobody wants to feel like they're reading a book. I want to see the main things that you need me to see inside of the main like the main points that you're highlighting. Like this is easier. Do you believe All right, I'll ask you guys. Do you believe having higher like different font, text and bolding in your uh, product description will allow you to stand out better? One for yes or two for no. All right, because you have a couple bold things, but again, this should be highlighted at a way higher level. And like I said, I like starting off with a problem, giving a solution, and having GIFs or images showcasing that. All right, but you don't have any images or GIFs showcasing that. Now, I really do like how you have complimentary cross-selling items, meaning that if I was to buy this product right here, it would make sense that I would buy this product right here as well. But I never do the you may also like. I just don't do it. I always do frequently bought together. And using that in Vitals or the frequently bought together app where, yes, they can see all these products, but there's a button for them to add every one of these products to cart all simultaneously. So add this one to cart, this one to cart, and this one to cart. Increase your AOV and give you more money, right? And as I scroll down, there are no reviews. If there are not any reviews, I probably will leave. Okay? So that is what I want to go ahead and highlight for her specifically. Okay? Let's go ahead and get into the next store. Let's go ahead and get into the next store. And by the way, for everybody in here, okay, if you guys do not know, I have a giveaway that I'm giving out today for all the new people who are joining. This giveaway is activated once this video reaches 250 likes. So smash the like button down below. And even if you do not win right now, once you do get this video to 250 likes, I will also give another giveaway out this Friday at 10 a.m. on my YouTube channel. All right. But how you guys can win this, I'm going to go ahead and post the link and, and uh, information down below. Is First of all, you're going to get an inside look at my one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Being able to get on a one-on-one -on -one call with myself and my team. That you get all of your questions answered. And then secondly, okay, you'll be able to get a free Supreme Econ merch and a 2023 success plan that's tailored to you. Now, how you win this, again, is come to my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton. And this is my only Instagram. I want you to scroll down to this video right here. I want you to like it, comment the word Wi-Fi bread, and I will be able to come and answer, or I'll be choosing a winner right after this. Or not after this, but during this. So literally in like 10 minutes. Where you guys can see where my finger is going to stop, right? Let me see how many likes we're at right now. I told you guys to smash that like button down below. Oh. We're at 87 likes. Look, I'm trying to help you all out. Let's go ahead and keep moving. I'm going to open up another store real quick. All right, drop your guys' stores link, store links down below. Let's go ahead and get into it. All righty. We got perkysmarket.com. Let's go ahead and check out what we rocking with. Perky Market. All right, I'm going to just choose a random product. Let's just choose this one. Okay? Name the product. I love to see that. Black, white, one separate color on your store. I also love to see that. 
Okay, pretty high clean, high professional uh, logo. It's not taking up too much space. You have the season and trends that are currently happening. You have the TM at the end of it. I really like this. Just so you guys know, if you guys want to uh, add this, it really does go a long way. It just helps out with a little bit of the conversion rate behind the product. I do like adding this TM. It's very, 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 very easy. You can literally just copy that. You know what I'm saying? So I love that. Okay. Let's see. When I click on a variant, it takes me to the variant. This guaranteed safe checkout, get rid of it. It's not necessary at all. I don't recommend you have any type of guaranteed safe checkout, and it's not going to increase your conversions. If anything, it's going to drop it. And when you go to these big brands in the world like Walmart, Target, Fashion Nova, and everything like that, they don't have this either. So, why you know your customers should be able to trust you. One thing I really like is the uh, or would really recommend changing is this button right here. I would never have my add to cart button as being white at all you want to make it I usually just use lime green or bright green or neon green that's typically what I use when it comes to my add a cart button now I like this right here because it's saying if you buy two you get 10% off this is vitals right here for everybody here this is vitals this is the quantity discount app inside of vitals incentivizing people to buy more to get less okay this add a card button, I would make it the same color as whatever add a card button you put right here. Have you ever yearned to break on a journey through the universe? Okay, I like that. These need to be different fonts. So I would change these fonts and uh, add a little bit of spacing in between this right here because it's a little hard to see. Introducing our, pro our uh, product. I do like starting my product descriptions off with um, GIFs and images first. I always use a git or sorry, I always use a gift first and then I go to images after that. All from the comfort of your own home. I would make this paragraph style and not make it bold and lower the text size of it. Um, prepare to be awestruck, same exact thing. Let's keep moving, let's keep moving. You see how they have this currency converter down here? You see this currency converter? This is also what I recommend having on your store. See how there's a sticky add to cart at the top that whenever I scroll past the add to cart button, you see that it's showing up. Also, a high recommendation to have on your store. Um, you see this frequently bought together? This is what I mean on frequently bought together and using vitals. This is vitals right here. Would I recommend cross-selling this product right here? No, I would not. I would recommend finding a product that goes with the product that you're selling. Um, and also you guys don't have reviews you guys literally have to have reviews Okay, you guys just have to have reviews. It's going to take Some time to get them, but I'm telling you right now. It will go a long way. I Like this though. I like this how it shows up when I add the product to cart definitely goes a long way Let's go ahead and get into another store All right, Muhammad, you are next. Like I said, smash that like button down below if you guys are wanting me to review your store, but also give another giveaway winner and post this, uh, post this afterwards, all right? All righty, a couple things is I would never in my life have my title being this long, okay? Your title should be one line, max two, okay? But to, for it to be taking this much space, People can't even get into the features and benefits of the product because they're going to have to keep scrolling. All right. Another thing, I never do white or I never do anything besides a white background. This is like a beige background, so I would definitely change that. Now, before I even continue, I want to know if you guys are paying attention. So I'm going to give my, my honest feedback on the store. But I want you guys to tell me and I want you guys to tell Muhammad right now, what would you change? about the store i'm gonna scroll up and then i'm gonna scroll down and i want to see if you guys have been paying attention what would you guys change about this store what would you change i want to know if you're paying attention Title, yep, Abby saying no add to cart color, 
correct? Halal saying everything? All right. All right, let's go ahead and keep moving, man. Let's go ahead and keep moving. You guys are basically all right. All right, add a card button, I would change. This two time black, two times gray, whatever. Just do one variant. Do black and do gray, and then have a quantity discount to incentivize people to get two, three, or four. But adding as a variant is honestly not even, it's not even necessary. Uh, you do have somewhat of a, let's just go ahead and see. Let me see if I can find something real quick. I want you guys to see the difference. This is just one I found on Google. I just want you guys to see the difference though. Compared to this product page and this description versus this product page and this description. Now, you guys need to understand something. Okay? Nobody wants to read a novel, for one. For two, any type of health products, any type of fitness products or things that are helping change the life livelihood of somebody, you need to have a pretty decent, like, self-explanatory uh, description. Any type of health products. You need to go a little bit over and beyond with it. Gifts would definitely help on here. Pictures would definitely help on here. Different fonts would definitely help on here. Breaks in between the text would help out here. Get rid of some of these images. You don't only you only need about five to eight images total. You have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Doing too much, taking too much space. Honestly, wouldn't even recommend doing it. This section can leave. You don't need that. You can put that on your home page. This product doesn't even go with the product you're selling. Neither does this one. So I would put other products that make sense with it. Alrighty, y'all. Let's see what we have with these likes, man. Let's see what we have with these likes. We're at 108. I'll make you guys a deal. If you get the video to 200 likes by the end of this video, by the, like in the next eight minutes, I'll, I'll give you guys a deal, all right? We'll, we're working, we'll uh, meet you guys in the middle. Let's go ahead and get to another store. Smash that like button down below. Let's jump into it. And again, I'm going to have my team post the giveaway instructions that I'm going to give out in three minutes. Okay, I'm going to give out the giveaway winner in three minutes. I'm going to have my team post the giveaway instructions down below. If you guys are wanting to win, okay, you need to, uh, if you want to win this giveaway today, again, follow me, come to this video, comment the word Wi-Fi bread, come back in here and say that we're done. Let's see what we're rocking with. Alrighty, so on your store, your logo doesn't match the, the layout of your store. This is blue and black while your logo is white and gray. You want to make sure that you are matching your logo with everything that you're doing, right? Just like my logo matches everything else happening on my store. I click on the variant. It takes me. This has, has a sell price that's purple. So now you have purple on your store, black and blue, um, and you also have gray and white doing way too much with this color scheme alrighty again you guys know what I'm gonna say I don't like seeing this big paragraph format frequently bought together makes sense all these products go together I like this are you I mean for real just get rid of this whole thing this whole little thing right here this whole paragraph just get rid of it are you tired of constantly cleaning up scattered litter around your catters litter box you know what I'm saying? That's the problem people have. Well, here's the solution. And here's how it works. I would add a GIF or image right here. Or a GIF, though. Struggling with difficult cleans. Boom. We got it for you. Okay? You need to make sure that little things like this is being able to be capitalized. You want to make sure that these words that are being able to be the main feature and benefit of the product are all highlighted. So I'm going to show you guys what I, or, or all uh, uppercase. So like this, sand, free, weave, technology. I always capitalize the beginning uh, of every single one of the words on here. All right. 
Same thing with this. You may also like is not necessary. You should just have, you already have this frequently bought together right here. You're kind of trying to do too much now. I would get rid of this. You may also like. I also like how all the reviews are here. There's not like, everyone doesn't have a review, but you can import a lot of them as well from Amazon. Um, that's what I use Alley Reviews for, is for those type of imports. And Lisa's right. Reviews of people actually using the product or reviews of the cat actually using the product. Instead of it just showing it in a box or showing this right here, I want to see it actively being used. All right, let's go to the next one. One minute, I'm gonna give out the giveaway winner, and I'm gonna show, I'm gonna look at one more person's store after this. All right, let's do this one. So you have way too many variants. I would have a drop down for my variants if it's gonna be more than three, because I want you guys again come over here and see what it's gonna look like on the mobile version. This is gonna take up way, way too much space. I would have a drop down of it. You got the currency converter right here. You got the buy more, save more, I love that. I mean, I kind of already talked about product descriptions a lot. I will say one thing I add to all my product descriptions that you guys should probably start taking advantage of is also FAQ pages. FAQ pages go, crazy crazy and michelle yes let me know if you did okay if any of you guys applied for the limited spots that we have to get on a free discovery call with myself and my team today let me know because in four minutes i'm going to review all of your applications and i'm going to make sure that i can reach out to you guys today we have some open spots for calls today so if you did apply please let me know okay please let me know and i'll make sure that you guys are able to get on a call today and again it's free now um Freely bought together is decent. Reviews are decent. Um, selling price would not have it as red when your store is black, white, and yellow. Um, but overall, I mean, it's kind of the same type of synopsis. I'm going to do one more store, okay? One or two more stores. If you guys smash the like button down below, you know, I might show a little bit more love, all right? I might show a little bit more love. But let's go ahead and get into the giveaway winner real quick. And now I'm going to review another one of your guys' stores. All right. So like I said, for the giveaway today, this is what we are going to do to win. I'm going to open all these up. And again, you must be following me. You must comment Wi-Fi bread. And you must have come back in here and said that we're done. Loading it all up. All right, bet. You guys see what I'm looking at, right? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, Carissa the top smith. Let's see if they follow me. Hey, Carissa, congratulations on winning. Everybody here has a family member here at Supreme Ecom. Make sure to say congratulations to Carissa. And I hope you guys are ready to take advantage of this afterwards because, again, if you guys get this video 200 likes, I'll give another giveaway winner out this Friday at 10 a.m. All right? Let's go ahead and review another store real quick. Kalalshop.com. Alrighty, so with this add a card button, I like it being like, um, I don't even know the code color, but it's basically like a neon green, not like a dark green, all right? Let me see. I think he's gonna give it to me real quick. Alrighty, so the one that I typically use is going to be this one right here. So 32CD32, okay? That's the code that I would recommend using um, for this button right here. This, do not make it red, just make it black. 
I don't like doing the, you just do the buy two, get 15% off. Buy three, get 20% off. You don't have to make it like, like this as well because when I'm clicking on this $47, when I highlight it, it says 35, way too confusing, not necessary to do to, to, do to your students, or sorry, due to your uh, clients. With the selling price, I do not recommend ending anything at 90 cents. I either ended at 97 cents or 99 cents. Have some good images. Again, this is a health product. You're going to need to extend that thing out. You're going to have to extend that thing out. But your reviews look decent. Showcasing the product actually being used. But I would probably up the four-star reviews, maybe about four or five more. You don't want to have just straight only five-star reviews, all right? All righty, y'all. I hope you guys took advantage of this today. If you need to reach out to me, here here's my Instagram. If you want to apply for the limited spots left, you guys can apply for my one-on-one -on -one mentorship. And we have spots open for a free discovery call today. And if you guys want to join my public Discord uh, public Discord channel, you guys can check it out right uh, right here to be around like-minded individuals and being guided around other people who are just in the same position as you, but as well with myself and my team of mentors here at Supreme Ecom, all right?